Quick fixes in VS Code let you easily fix errors or warnings in a file with a single action. Let's take a look at a few of the different ways that you can trigger quick fixes. Now in this file, for example, you can see that I have some yellow squigglies going on, indicating that there are some linter errors. And if I hover over the first one here, you can see that it says missing semicolon. So we're just missing a semicolon on the line here. This one's coming from the ES lint extension. VS Code also includes some built-in quick fixes for JavaScript and TypeScript, but in this case, it's coming from the ES lint extension. Now, the first way to trigger a quick fix is in the hover itself here, I could go down and click on quick fix. So I just click on this and then select from the available quick fixes here. So I'll say fix the semicolon problem. And sure enough, it's gone and inserted the semicolon. Now, another way that I could trigger quick fixes is to just place my cursor somewhere on the line with the air. And when I do this, you can see that a little light bulb shows up over here. So I can click on this light bulb and then I get that same list. And in this case, the problem is that I'm using var instead of let or const. So I'll say fix this no var problem. And you can see that it's converted this to now use let instead. Now, the third way that you can go and trigger quick fixes is from the problems panel itself. So if I go and actually open the problems view for the current project, I'll just click down here on the errors and warnings thing. You can see that I have a list of all the problems known in the current project. And from this list, I could just go and click on the entry here to go and view the warning. And then from this problem entry, I could get the little light bulb over on the side here. And when I click on this, you can see that I get that same drop down again. So I'll say fix the semicolon problem. And when I select that from the problems view, I was also able to just fix the code that way. So that's a quick look at the different ways that you can trigger quick fixes. As I mentioned, VS Code includes a number of quick fixes out of the box for JavaScript, TypeScript, um, some for CSS and HTML, for example. And then extensions can come along and add many other quick fixes for languages like Java, Python, C Sharp, and so on.